Hello, it's Kylie from Scott and Roy Marketing. Today we're going to be going over how to embed a link into your KWIDX site. So the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and pull up a command and go to the consumer section. We're going to start by creating a new site and you're going to want to click on my agent site. So that's going to bring up the blank page and I always recommend starting out by giving it a name and we're just, in my case, I'm just going to call it iframe code. So once you've given it a name, you'll come down to content blocks and you'll want to click and drag the text box to the center of the page. Once that's done, you're going to want to open the link that you want to use in another tab. In this case, we're just going to iframe our website here, and you're going to want to open a third tab for iframe generator. And this is iframe-generator.com. And I'll go ahead and put that in the description as well. Once you have that open, you'll want to take your link. So in this case, we're gonna copy the URL, and you're going to paste it where it says iframe URL. Once that's done, you're going to come up to where it says scroll bar. You're going to select yes. And then at the top, you'll see the width and the height. We're going to go ahead and change that. So you do have the choice to make it whatever size you want. Um, I personally typically do 100 for each. And I'll change this pixel to percentage. So I'm telling it to take up 100% of the space on my page. Once you have set your height, you can generate. You also have the chance to preview to make sure it's working. And you can go ahead and copy it when you're ready. You'll then want to go back into command and in your text box, you'll go ahead and get rid of this insert your text. And we're going to paste the iframe code. So you'll just see the code for now. You'll then want to go to widgets. And in order to save the page, you do have to add a widget. Uh, I always recommend using Download My App because it is the smallest one. And so once you get that added, you can go ahead and click on the widget and come down to Configure Widgets. You'll want to make sure that's all set up and you'll save and apply. And finally, you'll save changes and you'll go ahead and say yes. And you can add more than one iframe code to um, a page. You just have to add a text box for every code you'd like to add. So once we're all set there, we're gonna come over to the site and app settings and go to site pages, where we'll go ahead and add a page. So we'll select the one we just created. That's why it's so important to name it, just so it's easy to keep track of. And once you have added the title and the slug and an SEO description, if you'd like, you'll save the changes. Then you can visit your site and you're able to see the updates. There it is, and now that is a part of my site. And so that is how you add um, a link to your KWIDX site. If you have any other questions, you can reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. Have a great day.